Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card is who is your secret admirer? Um, so we are going to be taking a look at who is admiring you on the low. Um, I want to say it could even come up like not just romantically but platonically as well. Um, that feeling of admiration can come in many different ways so I do want to put that out there and I also want to reference that time doesn't exist so I could even pick up like potential energies of the future as well well wanted to get that out there before I start um but yeah let's get straight in and we can see who has been admiring you guys so you guys have four crystals to choose from pile number one is the green calcite pile number two is the blue calcite pile number three is the honey calcite and pile number four is the green aventurine so see which crystal you are drawn to the timestamps are going to be in the description box as usual and i will see you guys at your timestamp hey pal one welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at who is secretly admiring you so you guys chose the green aventurine i'm going to start with the psychedelic tarot to take a look at this person's um, main energy towards you and then i'll be pulling some more tarot cards as well shout out to Krista from uh, mine and three quarters channel because she sent me this deck um and it's really really beautiful and i have another chance to use it yet so i'm excited to use it today so pile number one please for guides can you show me the person that sec is secretly admiring my pile number ones and what that energy is what is the person's what is my pile number one secret admirer's energy oh my goodness the energy in general but also show me why they're drawn to pile number one as well give me the show me how they're showing up pile number one the secret admirer we have the moon i don't think you're aware of this person at all right now complicated romance uncertainty around career path confusion at job unclear around financial decisions okay you're not aware of this person at all um i don't even think this person's even may like turned ahead in your life yet i don't it's almost like this this person's you're coming into this person's conscious awareness which with a moon card as well can even kind of describe that you two haven't even met in the physical or shown up for each other in the physical yet it's more so like on an energetic frequency which makes me think that this person could be like a potential connection coming in especially as you guys chose the green calcite which is connected to the heart chakra which means you're aligning with the heart um it could even be that you've had dreams of this person this person could have had dreams of you if you've been dreaming about someone it's, it's given very much ariana grande rem um last night I met you when I was asleep like it's it's given that right now so it almost feels like someone's admiring your energy but they haven't physically met you yet it could be as well that they've seen you online um but it's more so just like oh that person's good looking this person's attractive or this person's got qualities that are like but I haven't really stepped towards you yet or even had the go ahead energetically this person feels very in tune with their emotions their intuition it wouldn't shock me if this person may have some psychic abilities too um because that's how it's coming through but either way there's like a distortion here but it's in regards of like a veil being over in someone's face like I always find when I energetically look at two people that haven't been able to meet yet or if I'm looking at a connection where um people have just met but for a while they didn't and they didn't know why it's usually because there's an energetic veil over them that i'm shown which is more like a frequency that hasn't aligned yet so it's almost like naturally they're blind to each other like scissors blind song like i can't see i'm blind like they're kind of blind to each other before that energy shifts and the veil is taken off so there's something to do with that I know you've come here to look at what's currently around you and it could be that this person's already aware of you but I almost feel like this does feel a little bit futuristic on a timeline that you're currently on but I will go deeper obviously um but this person's very intuitive I feel like um this person's 100% single um there's a hearty connection between the two of you it could even be someone that's already in your life but as a friend or it could be somebody that you've known before or heard of before but just like didn't think much of um because you weren't supposed to yeah there's something really fated about what i'm being shown um can you show me um how shall i do this secret admirer can you show me my pile one's energy towards their secret admirer right now 
um because you'll know your energy so you'll be able to see pile number one's energy towards their secret admirer right now do they are they aware we've got two cards come out we have king of swords articulate and intelligent and then we also have the nine of cups contentment and satisfaction um can you show me pile number one secret admirer's energy towards my pile number ones please can you show me pile number one's secret admirer i will pull two because i pulled two for you guys we have the four of wands prosperity and harmony this is really interesting i feel like you guys are my psychic pile because I'll, I'll tell you why in a second let me just get the other card out pile number one's secret admirer's energy towards my pile ones pile number one's secret i feel this is futuristic four of rings con oh my god i couldn't even say that then conservation practicality it's just the four of pentacles the back of the deck was generosity and tenacity queen of wands okay so let's take a look at your energy towards your person right now king of swords articulate and intelligent nine of cups contentment and satisfaction no this person i don't think you're absolutely you're not aware of this person at all but i almost feel like you're feeling an energetic shift because there's almost a feeling of you guys currently and your current energy getting your ducks in a row are aligning with something that almost feels like there's been some sort of expansion in your own internal awareness in your own spiritual awareness in your own emotional awareness that is allowing the veil to be lifted for you and the veil to be lifted for this person for it to start to manifest in the physical it's almost like you both kind of on a soul that there's a lot of higher self soul levels the spiritual side coming through it's like on a soul level you've put like a thumbs up they've put a thumbs up and it's like okay now we're gonna start like kind of aligning with each other but you're both at each side of the mountain right now making your way up and i almost feel like it's your intuition getting you there i feel like you're just super focused right now on where you're at and making sure your energy is fully in alignment but without it being for someone else it's just like no i'm just doing this for myself because the, i know it's a sword here but it's reminding me of like a shamanic knife and cutting away ethereal cords and energy so i almost feel like you've you've been clear and out the clutter to make sure you're ready and open for a connection for a specific point in time i keep being shown autumn leaves um like fall leaves so it could manifest around the autumn time the fall time um and with the nine of cups contentment and satisfaction i just feel like where you're at you're very focused on where you're at so you're not looking up to see anyone right now um you're really really focused on where you're at apologies for the croaky throat guys i've got a bit of a my throat's really cocky today um but yeah i don't think you're aware of this person at all which is why your energy isn't so much on this person it's very much on your current reality in regards to your person the four of wands and then the four of rings i almost feel like again i don't think this person's 100 percent clear cut of who you are but i almost feel like energetically you've connected there's almost this feeling of, oh, I know I'm going to meet someone soon because I know I'm ready for it. Very tapped into their own intuition too. With the Four of Rings as well, which is the Four of Pentacles, it's reminding me of somebody, again, getting their decks in a row, keeping their energy where they need it right now until they feel the get-go to open up to someone. So this is two people that are energetically maybe feeling something, feeling a shift. Maybe you're not even aware that someone's coming in. You're just aware that you're on a new path and you're very focused on self. But it is energetically aligning you with each other. So this admirer coming in, they're also admiring the energy of you, which is about to manifest in the physical for them, vice versa for you. It's quite interesting um, how that's come through, to be honest with you. Um, so this is a potential connection, which I know this is probably not what you expected to come out, but I have to honour what's coming through. We're going to get some more cards anyway. So, um, pile number one, secret admirer, please. Can you show me the energies of pile number one, secret, oh goodness. Can you show me the energy of pile number one, secret admirer? Can you tell me any information about pile number one, secret admirer? What do my pile number ones need to know? um pile number one secret admirer it's almost like someone's manifesting you someone's aligning with 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 you that's how it's kind of coming through pile number one we have flow not shocked at that coming out pile number one we have consciousness yeah you guys are my psychic pile because it's like you're aware 
on a higher level of each other. Pile number one. Pile number one secret admirer right now. Protection. Back of the deck we have balance. Okay. Whoever this person is, I feel like they've been single for some time. I feel like they're very, very careful where they're putting the energy, their energy and where it's going. I feel like this person's very aware of how to read energy or there's something that they reached a self-mastery over where it's like, I feel like there may be other people around them that they may be flirting with and things like that, but there's just this feel, there's a feeling that they're looking for that they have not found with the people around them, which makes them feel like, okay, this isn't for me, but they're following this feeling forward and knowing that it's going to come in and I feel like they're going to get this feeling with you. So right now, they're super not aware of you at all because it has manifested in the physical and I feel like there's almost this feeling of like him being shown Cinderella with the glass slipper. Like I feel like they're looking for a feeling that is going to... Pr kind of like transpire and, and happen with you um and right now there's almost this feeling of do you know what i'm bored of looking i'm just going to keep my energy to myself especially with the four of rings this person's being very careful with they're putting their energy it wouldn't shock me if this person's just very focused on career right now and not thinking of relationships and not thinking of anything like that with the protection card as well i feel like this person is a little bit careful a little bit um oh how would i put it it's like uh they're cautious they're cautious where they put their energy and they're cautious of who's coming towards them and why they're coming towards them this person person could be very good looking and feel like people only come towards them because of their looks this person could have a lot of money and feel like people only come towards them because of their finances and it's like i'm not looking for any of this shallow stuff i'm looking for a feeling again this feeling is then aligning them with you because i feel like you may have the same outlook of something like you may be the type of person as well it's like um it's not so much I'm looking for a type of person, I'm looking for an alignment that I know I'll feel when I'm with someone. It could be that you have that same feeling and I feel like you're both, you both look like each other on the inside. So you're both kind of looking for each other in a way. Um, that's what I'm being told. And with flow and consciousness, there's a very much an empress feel from both sides where it's like, because you could have been single for some time where it's just like, you know what, I'm just gonna drift i'm open but i'm not looking i'm gonna drift and i'm gonna see where it goes and i feel like this person has the same energy so that by the time that you meet i feel like even when you meet there's not going to be jumping the gun with either of you um because i'm going to go out on a limb and say the majority of you here are single i feel like there's not going to be a um oh let's get together because i found you it's not going to be like that because i think it's going to take them and a few guys to realize this feeling because it's going to grow um, and I think when you meet, it's also going to be a bit of a slow burn around a flow before it transpires into something physical. But I feel like what's actually going to align you and make you realize you are for each other is this conscious energy. So it's like um, you guys f feel like um, you have the same heart. It's 44 on the clock, by the way. You guys feel like you have the same heart. You guys feel like you're from the same spirit team. It's that sort of thing. You align in, in very good ways. It's like that it's like trying to make two pieces of a puzzle fit and then they're not fit in and then you finally get that piece and it clicks together and it's like oh it's gonna happen like that and i think that's why you guys are super calm and i also think that's why the veil is lifted now so that it can manifest in the physical because there's something you needed to learn um which could be tied into like patience and just allowing things to flow and there's something they've had to learn as well um i feel like either one or both of you have had to work on your like self-worth um and feeling open to something um and instead of like maybe pushing it away and feeling like you're not worthy of something that could be either or or both of you um but i feel like this is definitely a future situation i am gonna pull more cards um but this is a future partner coming in that's energetically um, admiring you because i think that the traits that you have i can even see being written down um i saw just hear a little squeak i don't know if it was my cats all oh, the birds outside it could have been do you know sometimes when you speak and like a weird noise comes from your mouth like eh, it could have even been my mouth um all the while like spirit could be there in my ear like eh, eh, like trying to wind me up um anyway uh what was i saying yeah um this is like a future connection that is about to manifest in the physical but i i want to pull some more can you tell me anything else about pile number pile number one oh oh my 
my god we have oh god we have independence lilith and we have oh my god i'm not gonna shuffle in today pile number one show me anything else about this person pile number one secret admirer show me anything else about pile number one's secret admirer we have stillness has life got a little bit simple for you recently? Like not much is coming in. We have patterns at the back of the deck. And especially with it being in green, you guys, I really do feel like you guys have been put into rest certain karmic patterns or maybe certain approaches that you had in regards to romantic connections before. I feel like you've been putting things to bed that were maybe holding you back in regards to love. There's something you've both put to bed recently in regards to your heart space um, that's aligning you with each other. You're definitely my like psychic pile i feel like you're very aware of energies and things like that um the reason i'll say with the stillness i'll get to the independence in a second i almost feel like for both of you life may be very feeling very one-dimensional right now whereas you're focusing on one thing but i feel like that one thing that both of you are focusing on right now is what's going to lead you there um you're both very much listening to you you're both like a mirror in each other like so bad like you are like i just feel like i'm focused on one thing because i'm listening to my intuition and it's telling me to focus on this and i'm not going to worry about anything else so it could be like finances you're focused on with the independence card it could be again relating to self-worth and, and and working on yourself it almost feels like um better in yourself in a particular area it could be career finances um your health anything like that but there's just a one strong focus on a particular area for you and a particular area for them that is going to literally have you boom into each other's lives um but I, the reason i say this is a psychic connection is because you're both aware of each other and you've either both been having dreams visions both been feeling your heart space open up both been feeling very romantic that sort of thing's kind of coming through um and with independence as well, I feel like maybe both of you in the past were quite codependent. Um, I've had to work through energies where you were codependent or had wounds that would connect you to people from your past that you've had to kind of let go. Like I said, with the sword here, it reminded me of like a knife cutting away ethereal cords. So I feel like maybe some of you guys have been healing from a relationship. I feel like that would be mirrored. There's such a mirror here. It's really interesting. Um, I want to get more. More, more, more. Okay, so let's pull... What I'll do is I'll pull the astrology cards to take a look at maybe just like their essence and the type of person that they are. And then I'll pull the sea salt cards to see if there's just like a message from them towards you as well. So um, what is my pile number one secret admirer? What, um, what type of person are they? Can you show me the type of person that they are? I keep hearing... So I feel like they're quite fast moving. I feel like they may be someone that's always on the go, quite fiery, quite earthy. No, I'm picking up more fire and air. They're very in their physical body though. I think that's why I said that. I mean, it could be that they have a good balance of all three, earth, fire and air. I feel like they may work out or they may just be very adventurous. Could be into gymnastics because I was just shown gymnastics um pile number pile number one's super admirer can you show me their dominant energies yeah so we have mercurius we have mercury um which is ruled by virgo and gemini i'm not shocked of the gemini energy coming out um but with the virgo energy as well what i will say is this person's going to be very communicative with their feelings with what they want to do um they may talk a lot they may speak a lot they may i feel like they're going to be the type to engage you in conversations um i feel like the minute that they spot you and feel a connection with you you're going to know because they're just going to be like boom i'm here and there's just going to be a lot of conversation um i am not gonna lie i feel like they might be the type to not really hold their tongue and just be very like just say what's on their mind they do feel like that um i am picking up a bit of aries energy as well as well as a bit of libra as well um yeah there's just like they speak very well or they may talk very fast or they may just have a lot of thoughts and ideas and there's just like a lot of that coming through that's the type of people that they are um i feel like they are always on the go though pile number one this person may remind you of somebody from your past when they come in 
because this has turned into a bit of a relationship reading which i have to go with what is coming through um this person may remind you of somebody from your past but don't go into like oh my god no i want to run away um it almost feels like this person's like whoever this person reminds you of in your past that would have been very talkative or very uh, on the go this person's like a more elevated version so for them to be aligning with you now like you both would have done a certain amount of work so just imagine a certain person but like evolved it it, it almost gives that so certain traits that you may be like oh that reminds me of my ex remember that this person's more of an evolved person because this person does reflect this person has got a lot of they tell me to say emotional intelligence um yeah that's this person's very empathic yeah this person's very empathic i'm also picking up aquarius we've had all three air signs come in so i feel like air would be quite prominent with this person pile number pile number one i feel like you're gonna have a lot in common we have luna again so the moon's come through twice i feel like you're gonna have a lot in common i feel like the way that you guys are gonna connect with each other even though i feel like almost your brains are gonna go zzz, like they're gonna click like that i feel like what's gonna actually cement this connection is both of your levels of depth and emotional um your ability to connect with each other emotionally and soothe each other emotionally i feel like there's a lot of empathy between the both of you that's really been worked on and grown on and there's a lot of like there's definitely an emotional balance here that i feel like that's what's really going to like what are those seeds and help things grow there's there's a genuine care and love that's going to grow from this this is a potential connection coming forward this isn't um for some of you this could be like i said a past person that has evolved and grown and come back but i really don't think it is if you really do align with that then that's fine but it could just be that this person's more of an evolved version of somebody from your past um, come through. That does tend to happen sometimes. Um, so if you're like, I would never want anyone back from my past, literally discard that. It's not for you. Don't try and make it fit. Um, but yeah, this is, um, we have Sagittarius at the back of the deck um, as well. So yeah, this person definitely speaks their mind. Um, I feel like this person is very sure of themselves um and their energy and what they say and i feel like this person again there's something about them always being on the go very action-based um they could travel you could meet them traveling i don't think you're gonna meet them traveling you could um this person could be um this person could originally be from a different country than you um yeah like this person could have been born overseas and then is around you there's something about that or they could just have a traveling background um and it doesn't even have to be uh that they travel it could be like they've had a lot of different like uh let's just say they are an entrepreneur they could have have like different things under their belt um they've seen a lot is what i'm trying to say they've grown a lot um which is why they know themselves very well and what they want and why they're keeping their energy close to them until they find something that they want to invest in that's what i mean they're emotionally intelligent so they're very aware and you know intuitive so let's give a message from pal number one secret admirer it's almost like someone's admiring you in the astrals <laughs> um or someone is like admiring your essence because they've tapped into it on a on a spiritual level and then it's like oh i can't wait for that to come in that's what i want um pile number one a message from pal number one secret admirer didn't expect that reading to take this turn especially for the first reading but there we go um yeah we have seashell let down your guard what are you protecting yourself from um i feel like this person's coming in as well to maybe like open you guys up that's definitely what i would say because when we look at shells in the ocean they protect something inside so it's almost like this person may be coming in in regards to opening you up um and having you more carefree this is definitely a hearty connection this is definitely some sort of like soul link and soul connection coming in um and they're having you really step into your it's it's kind of just getting you out of your shell some of you guys may have a water rising cancer pisces scorpio um 
but it's like getting you out into the world and having you more confident in who you are i feel like that's something you're going to learn from them what are they gonna this is more of a love reading now to be honest with you what is this person going to learn from my power ones then i feel like you may i feel like you're quite connected to spirit and i feel like you might be able to like advance them spiritually um help them learn something help them master something in regards to themselves you're both teaching each other something anyway this is going to result in some sort of connection that's quite vital it's like important it almost feels like it's important so it's going to come in um especially if this is the first connection you meet after going through some shadow work or removing yourself from a particular paradigm there's a reason this person's coming in um yeah the back of the deck we have island find strength in solitude so i feel like that's both what you're doing right now you're both a little bit feeling a little bit maybe isolated or just choosing to go on a bit of a solo journey right now to get yourself where you need to be before you meet each other so there's something like that coming in um yeah so pal one this took a completely different turn than i expected it to i did not expect that to happen when i tapped in but i have to honor what came through i really hope this resonated for you anyway um hit the thumbs up and comment down below if it did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you guys are watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal two welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at who your secret admirer is um so you guys chose the blue calcite i'm going to start with this deck which is the psychedelic swiss tarot so shout out to carissa from nine and three quarters for this deck because i haven't used it yet and i'm excited to use it today um but yeah i'm going to start with this deck just to see your secret admirer's energy towards you and then i'm going to pull some more tarot decks to see your energy towards your secret admirer so you can kind of see that well-rounded view of how you're viewing them see if we can get a little bit more answers and their energy towards you and then we'll go deeper with some oracle cards so pal number two secret admirer please spirit guides um i don't know if you guys do protection spells but as i was tapping into your energy i literally entered like a bubble like a white bubble and i had to kind of wait a few seconds for it to like absorb me in um so i feel like you guys are doing some sort of protection rituals or whatever if not it could be just your spirit guides heavily protecting you right now um you guys could be clearing something right now work and do something you could be going through some sort of expansion right now so your spirit guides may be creating a ring of protection around you so just know you're heavily protected because they had to like scan they, they do this thing where it's like waiting and observing your energy before you come in they did that so just know you're heavily protected <laughs> um pile number two um who is my pal who is my pal number two's secret admirer who is my pal number two's secret admirer can you show me who my pal number two's secret admirer is Ooh. what have we got we got the star we've got the star let me just put that right on the back of the deck we have the moon okay okay so whoever this is i feel like the way they're observing you is this star energy you guys could have a lot of aquarius in your chart doesn't have to be this person's almost looking at you going through some sort of a rebirth right now going through some sort of um okay this is what i'm picking up some of these people are almost looking at you and they may be thinking you're going through something so you could maybe be a little less active on social media or you could be just very careful where you're putting your energy or they may not be feeling you in their energy as much so it's like okay i think this person's going through something um where they're almost just stepping back and observing others of you this person's looking at you as going through some sort of rebirth i feel like either way you are definitely going through some sort of energetic shift or a revamp in your own energy and this is being observed but for some people it's like this person's going through something and then for others of you it's like this person um is completely shifting and they're watching you shift in your energy um so there's definitely something in regards to that like i keep almost being shown like a closed for maintenance sign which could actually explain why when i tapped into your energy there was this sphere of light because there's almost this feeling of like we're alchemizing right now keep at bay or we're working on something right now you know keep away we're not drawing anything in right now there's like a feeling of that because whoever it is is almost observing and quite curious as to what you're up to um they could even have thought sometimes energetically to maybe step towards you and then not felt like it was the right time because i think that 
whatever's going on in your life right now, there's something very vital and something you're focusing on right now that your own higher self and energy is like in a shell. You know, like armadillos and they're in a shell. You're almost giving off that vibe energetically. So this person almost like may have thoughts like, should I reach out? And then it's like, no, no. Um, and that's why, because there's something mixing, there's something alchemizing, you're going through a rebirth. So let's pull deeper. I'm going to take a look at your energies towards this person. I think this is someone you know. Pile number one, it was someone they didn't have a clue who it was. It was someone new coming in. You guys, this is someone you know. Um, So pile number one, how does my pile No, not pile number one. Pile number twos, how do my pile number twos feel towards the secret admirer coming through? How do my pile number twos currently feel towards the secret admirer coming through i'm doing you first only because you because you know this person as well i feel you know what your feelings are so you'll be able to pinpoint this person before i get to them so it's less confusing um how does my pile number twos feel towards their secret admirer we have temperance moderation equilibrium and we also have the tower disruption and conflict. Okay, this is someone that you've completely taken your energy off and chosen to. This is why this person is aware that you've been very scarce with your energy recently or your energy has been going into something else. Um, there's almost this feeling coming from you guys as well. We have the nine of rings, which is the nine of pentacles at the back of the deck, abundance and fortitude. Um, I'm picking up that this person this person to me feels like this is somebody from an old paradigm this is somebody that you used to have a connection with this is somebody that you maybe were stuck in a karmic cycle with the reason i say used to be is because we have the temperance card you pouring into yourself the tower card is that falling down so this is a connection that probably didn't end up working and didn't end up blooming maybe the way that you hoped it would the way you're looking at this person is that this person's a little bit chaotic or that the connection you had with this person wasn't built on truth or wasn't built on a level of substance so that could be you may feel that this person said a lot of lies this person was a little bit sly and snaky um you could feel that this person um was maybe saying things but wasn't delivering there was something like that there was a flaw in this tower that was being built between you and this person and i feel like it's it could even be that you were pulling all the weight and now you've poured it back into yourself with this temperance card um because this person's almost feeling like i can't get in um i'll get to their energy in a second but there is definitely this feeling of you not wanting this person to come back or i'm building a tower now you wouldn't fit here now find another tower um there's something about that there's something very untrusting about this person um that you'll know about like you i feel like you're not trusting this person i don't know why i'm being shown like lime green um i don't know like you're like like a hot you know you have like the neon colors like a neon green i don't know why that's coming through that could have like relevance somewhere um but yeah i feel like you completely cut this person off but i do feel like you're aware this person triggered something in you which helped you to grow which helped you pour something back into yourself so that you can create this nine of pentacles on your own and not look for it in somebody else um so i feel like you're aware that this person definitely um brought a great lesson in for you but I, and i don't think there's so much anger towards this person right now it's more so just like no you're not coming into this castle i've taken a while building this castle up you're not coming in so there's a there's a feeling of that coming in um so let's take a look at your person's energy so pile number two secret admirer how do they feel what's their energy towards my pile number twos pile number two secret admirer um i'm not gonna use them ones because i feel popped out pile number two secret admirer pile number two secret admirer Pile number two, secret admirer. This person's feeling like they've missed a boat. Um, this per I'm being shown the meme of like Squidward when he's looking out of his window, all miserable, and SpongeBob and Patrick are like playing in the garden. Um, it's kind of given like um, what's the word when you formal? It's given formal. That's how they're feeling towards you right now. This person feels restricted in their current life for whatever reason. Pile number two's um, secret admirer. What do we have? The Three of Rings. Collaboration and company. Okay, Three of Rings, which is the Three of Pentacles. Did this person... Is this person in a current relationship or did this person put you voluntarily in a third party situation or have a choice to make between you and somebody else? 
we have the three of pentacles here and like this person's coming through coming through as like the kind of ring in the middle with the gold on it and then it's like i've got two i've got two rings either side of me um let me get another one pile number two pile number two I think this person expected you to like not do good without them this person maybe expected you to reach out at a particular point this person maybe expected you to be stuck doing the same old same old which by looking with the star you're not um this person expected maybe when they checked up on you to expect the same thing that they've always seen and they're not seeing that same thing so you could have like been in a particular job you're no longer in that job you could have been um you know someone that was uh la, 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 um quite quiet and now you're a lot more extroverted and confident like there's a shift that this person's definitely referencing and it's almost like this isn't what i expected and now it's like it's for them created this fresh energy of them kind of observing and looking for a way in but it's like i can't go through the same door it, yeah this person's returned to the tower that you guys shared you've already i think this person expected to come okay so um let me just explain it you and this person had a situation you were building a tower up this person maybe was using um saying that they were using the top um you know building blocks and everything to build it but they were actually using the cheapest ones that maybe they stole in other words this person could have been lying there was a level of deceit they weren't really being honest maybe they were having you pull all the weight so i feel like you just crushed this tower to the ground and was like f this this person maybe ran off maybe stepped to another connection it does feel that way with the three of pentacles and i feel like this person expected to come back to that tower when they were ready and you would have built it back up again and they could just step back in so they've come back to this tower expecting you to have been building it up and be waiting at the door for them and the tower's in the same ruins that it was the last time they checked and now they're looking and you've built this tower up for yourself and they're like that's a completely different tower i don't even know how i'd get into that now so now it's given this fresh energy of like rapunzel in the air i can't get to them but i want to i'm just observing right now but i'd like to get in that's what it is because this person's feeling restricted which maybe the restrictive energy is you're so far gone they can't get in it could be they're feeling restricted that they're in another connection but i don't i almost feel like i don't want to focus on another connection which does kind of make me feel like this person if they're in a relationship i don't think they're even too focused on it it's more so um i'm feeling restricted here with 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 you guys and i'm watching you kind of transform and it's like i'm waiting for a doorway in um this person could even think as well if you guys have been quiet that you guys may be in another connection some of you guys may even be in another connection and that's the restriction um but there's definitely something where it's like i don't even know how i get in now um let's keep going pile number it's given Ru rubik's cube like that's what i'm getting um pile number two pile number two is person pile number two is person um what's their energy towards my pile number two is pile number two is secret admirer what's pile number two's secret admirer's energy towards my pal oh goodness am i using them no what's pile number two's secret admirer's energy Oh, you've boundaryed up. <laughs> you've boundaryed up. They didn't expect. They did not expect this. There's something you've done which makes me feel like you've been pouring into yourself or something like that. You've done something they didn't expect, and it's almost like they're looking at it like touche, touche. Like that's that's how they're looking at it. There's something you've done and they're impressed. I don't know what this is. I don't know if you got yourself someone else. I don't know if you've just leveled up in every area. I don't know whether you've just grown and put boundaries in. There's almost this feeling of them feeling a little bit giddy as well towards you. And it's almost like, oh, okay. Um, there's a feeling of that. You make this pe person feel some type of way. I'm not gonna, I will say the truth though. And I feel like you're aware of this. It's not like the way you make this person feel it doesn't so much feel like romantic i want to like build something with you it's given you excite me you entice me you're alluring to me it, it, it's not given anything too concrete i do want to say that but there is feelings you create in this person i feel like this person looks to you for a level of confidence um yeah 
pile number Ugh. I didn't mean to make that noise by the way I'm just trying to reach all the cards that fell oh god okay why is this final card not wanting to come out I don't think this person wants you to know I feel like this person's a bit childish pal too because it's like they don't want you to know that they would be secretly admiring you they're almost like yeah i don't care i don't care trying to mirror something this person if you want confirmation and i think you know who this person is if you want confirmation has this person changed or have they not they have not they haven't especially in matters of the heart they have not um they could present themselves as they have there's a bit of trickster energy coming through here um i wouldn't trust this person and i think you know not to trust this person pile number two pile number two pile number two i think this person's in denial that maybe you've moved on as well and I think that's why they're observing because they're waiting to see if you're still swimming in the same pool as you were before. Uh, whatever that means. Pile number two. Pile number two. Why is this pile not coming out? What is pile number two? Secret admirer's energy towards my pile. Thank you very much. God, that took three years. Um we have the two of rings two of pentacles fluctuation adaptability three of pentacles and the two of pentacles was this person juggling you with somebody else i feel like they were or they were juggling you with this person was indecisive and didn't know whether they fully wanted to commit and i think that's why you tear the tower down because it's like well if you're not 100 percent goodbye it could have been something like that it could have been that they weren't unsure because they had somebody else you may have also made a decision for them like they could have been more focused towards you had that somebody else and i feel like maybe you tear the tower down so it's like oh you've just made my decision for me then there's a feeling of that coming through um yeah that's that's kind of how it's coming through I think that you might have made a decision for them. Um, not literally like go be with that person, although you could have. It could have just been like, you're not giving enough. I'm tearing the tower down. And this person was like, okay, I'll go to the other one then. It could have been a situation like that. This person, I don't know if you've known each other for some time, but there's almost this energy of tit for tat with this person towards you. Um, it's giving annoying. Like it's given like why... It, it, it's like chess that this person's looking towards you and the connection which is, is annoying to me because i don't think that you looked at it in in that particular way at all but i feel like that's how they're looking at the situation um and i think this connection with this person for both of you was like a tug and pull when you'd run they chase when you chase they ran it was one of those situations i don't think it ever got off the ground because of that i feel like this person may have like um said everything that you needed to hear and then it was like you'd build that tower for them and then it was like they never really put too much in it was almost like they would and i feel like they do this with everyone but i feel like they wanted you to put in more of the effort i feel like maybe they've had a lot done for them um it's 17 minutes past as i'm looking at the clock like two uh 17 minutes past two and then the time that it's been running on my phone is also 17 minutes past so those two 17s that could be significant here this person could have been born on the 17th you could have could be your number as com you know spiritual number as a confirmation this is your reading um but yeah the back of the deck i was saying i was feeling trickster energy and we have the magician at the back of the deck um which has come through here so I, I feel like this person didn't want to grow, knew that you wanted to, and was like, I don't want to grow, I don't have it in me to grow, but if I can get this person to do most of the work to build this tower, I won't have to grow, and I can keep them. I feel like this person's the type where they don't like to make permanent decisions, and it's almost like, I'm going to have my cake and eat it too, because there's almost this feeling of wherever they're at, if they are in a current connection right now, they're still looking to you. It's like, wherever the wind blows, that's where they're going to go. They're looking for someone to do a lot of the work. I don't feel like this person's grown up at all. And I, do, as myself, this isn't spirit saying it. I'm just saying it. I do feel like you guys 
I've dodged a bit of a bullet here, especially when I'm looking at your energy and theirs and they haven't shifted at all. Um, the number three could also be significant and being told. So you could have not have spoken to them for three years. Something could have happened in the match um, or on the third. There's something about the number three coming through as well. Um, yeah, but I just feel like the way this person looks towards your situation is a little bit like a game of chess. I do feel like this person's a little bit calculated and I do feel like they are observing of what you're up to right now and hoping to kind of like make a way in, um, whether it's just over social media or it could be like energetically. Um, there's almost this hope that you'll reach out, which... I feel like you would agree that it's a little bit delusional because this person's in denial or maybe in the past you would usually reach out so that's why they're expecting you to reach out there's almost this feeling why wouldn't they have reached out that you know are they in another connection what are they doing where are they putting their energy it's a lot of that it's given do you know what song i would say this person's energy is towards you there's a weekend song um uh um he sings like who you giving love to now, who you getting sprung for now, who you pulling up on, who do you make love to now, what have they got that I ain't got because I've got a lot. Um, you know, I'll do channel songs and I'll put that energy there because I've completely forgotten the name of the song, but it was on his DML and Kali um, EP and I know the song was about Bella Hadid. Um, I know that much, um, but I can't remember the, the name of the song but I will put it as your channel song anyway. So that's the, this person feels a little bit toxic. You know, like when you think of like The weekend and like he's not been with Bella Hadid for a long time, but he just will write like albums about her. It's, it's, it's that. It's that. I don't think this person shifted or changed at all, but they're watching a shift and seeing if you really have shifted. Let's pull some more cards. Pile number two. Um, can you tell me anything else about pile number two, Secret Admirer? Yeah, this person hasn't let go. We have stop. Your energy, you are so protected. I feel like you're protected from this person too. Or you've just put up that energy. Like nothing from the past. Nothing from the past. You know what I mean? Like something comes up in your awareness. Maybe this person tries following you on social media and you're like, nope, nothing from the past. I'm on a new phase. Focused on me. I'm hearing the Kilani lyric. What is not growing is dead. If you can't understand, get the F out my face. She sung that song on an EP, I think the song's called Yet, and it's Keelani that sang it. We have death, yeah, transformation. <laughs> yeah, stop death, you moved on. This person's, this is just a situation of someone that maybe had access to you for a little bit, you revoked the access and now they're a little bit butthurt, in denial and still feeling like they could get their way in. This person looks to you for um an ego boost this person looks to you to make them feel good i feel like with this sweetness card as well you are very nurturing to this person um this person may have some mommy issues there because there's like this feeling of them towards you like you nurture them you pour into them i think that's something that they're very drawn to with you we have cleanse at the back of the deck you've completely removed yourself from this person i feel um I feel like you're very focused on pouring into yourself and bringing things in that make your heart grow. Um, it's like, you know, water in a flower, what makes this flower grow? Anything that doesn't, it can go. I feel like you're looking at yourself like that. And I feel like you're looking at your heart like that. And this person didn't help your heart grow. So it's like, I, why would I allow this to come through? Um, that's the energy there. But this person, this person is wanting to come back or there's something about your heart it's do you know what's annoying you know this person does like you this is why i'm getting frustrated because it's like this person does like you but they don't want to level up they don't want to deal with their own and do you want to know these tactics that they're doing they're doing it because it's their way of protecting their heart if i'm in control if i'm not opening myself up and giving too much i'm safe and I think that with you guys as well, this person felt like you had the potential to hurt them. So it was like, or they could maybe feel certain feelings getting triggered that reminded them of a past connection. So it was like, I need to be in control of this situation there. Which annoys me because then it's like you're getting punished because this person felt hurt from another connection, which isn't fair. But that's that's what I'm being shown. It, it was two, two, two on the clock then. Um yeah i feel like this actually might help you heal this person may have had another connection where this person may have hurt them and i feel like their way of like getting back was to 
anyone that reminded them of them to play those games back and not get hurt because then that helped them in their mind that helped them keep safe and help them get not revenge but it helped soothe their ego that they were more in control you know what i mean it, like for example they could have had a connection where they were breadcrumbed and they were asking for that person back and they were pouring into that person and they weren't getting it back and then they got hurt and then it was like any other connection afterwards that reminded them of that person or had qualities of that person i feel like they were like well i'm gonna breadcrumb this person and i'm going to um play games with this person because that will keep me safe and also everyone's like this anyway even when you show them genuinity, which they loved, they didn't know what to do with it. They didn't know what to do with it. I think you remind them of themselves before they were hurt. And that's why they get triggered. Which isn't nice, but I think that that's what you um, are reminding them of. Or did remind them of. Which is annoying as well, because it's like they did genuinely like the person that you were drawn to the person that you were i feel like you ticked boxes it, that's just you know this person's prone to self-sabotaging and maybe you were prone to self-sabotaging in the past but that's what i'm seeing you've shifted it's like we're both playing these games we're both in this pool and now they're wondering like is this person out of this pool now because i feel like maybe in the past you both self-sabotaged maybe you did self-sabotage without realizing it um, and maybe that's something you've worked on. There's something you've worked on that is no longer aligning you with this person. So I think you're aware of something that was you were sabotaging to move through it. Pile number two, secret admirer. Any more energy about this person? We have revelation. Pile number... This person's missed out on a lot of connections by playing these games. A lot of connections by playing these games. We have forgiveness as well. Back of the deck, we have radical acceptance at the back of the deck. Okay, Revela why do we have revelation and radical accept um, and forgiveness? Why do we have revelation? And forgiveness with this person. I think this person, with this transformation that you're going through, I think this person's going to see you weren't playing games. There's almost this way, I feel like in the past, this person almost looked at it like, oh, this person's playing games, we're going back and forth. Whereas I feel like when this person sees that you've changed, I think they're going to realise you weren't playing games. And I think that's why they're actually going to want that sort of forgiveness from you. Or this person could even, so now they've gone to the other connection. This person could end up um, having their heart opened in some sort of way or having them work through something. This person that they're with could end up triggering something or it could be something that happens in the future. I feel like it's already happened where this person's made them realise something about themselves. And I feel like with this revelation, this person may have been told something about themselves recently. Maybe you told them something about themselves. It could even be something you've said. Maybe the last time you spoke, you maybe show your genuinity or show that you weren't playing games or really opened your heart in a way which was like i wasn't trying to hurt you or you i feel like you may have shown something where this person's looking at you know like i don't think this person was actually trying to hurt me i don't think this person was playing a game that i was or maybe the connection that they're in right now or are going to get into is going to show them not everyone's actually playing a game i don't think that person was playing a game now i owe someone an apology because we have forgiven us here i don't think that moment's come yet though because in their current energy i think they're still playing a game but this moment's coming where they're probably going to be looking at you with a level of forgiveness or once this person sees this star energy in the way that you've grown then they're going to want to maybe step towards you and want forgiveness um yeah yeah I don't think this person saw you clearly because they were so tainted by someone from their past. It's a particular person. They were tainted by someone from their past. Um, let's pull some more cards. Can you show me the energies of how this person is with the astrological cards? Um, show me like what they're like, what energy is dominant within them. Cards 
Capricorn. We have Capricorn. Um, one more card. What's this person genuinely like on an energy level? We have Luna as well. This person keeps, because we have Luna, which is ruled by Cancer, and then we have Capricorn. Um, and both of those are the opposite tails of each other. I feel like for me, it's given like um, this person, what's at the back of the deck? Neptune as well. <sighs> okay. You were reminded, okay. You were very open emotionally. You were very open with your feelings, very honest about your feelings, very loving. This person has that side to them, but they shut it off. And I feel like they kind of allow themselves to look at things in a very practical manner. I'm looking for love in a practical way. I'm not looking for love romantically. I'm not looking to do any of that because that just makes you hurt. And I'm just going to... Um, move in a practical way i feel like this person saw you being very open and emotional as maybe a tactic that you'd use in the past um to maybe get your way or th there's something where they looked at as like toxic in regards to it and i feel like they're gonna start realizing um why they looked at it that way and it's because they shunned that side of themselves for it to be a negative so they looked at your side where you were open with that as a negative and they're gonna have that opened within themselves where they're gonna be like oh this person could end up having a child and come to that realization this person just could have that opened or it could just be them maturing on an emotional level and going i don't think everyone was really able to get me like i thought they were and i've sabotaged quite a few connections here i don't think you're the only one they're gonna go i sabotage that i think they may think that about other people as well because there's this like there's going to be a, a, a come to Jesus moment, a come to universe moment, whatever you believe in. There's going to come a moment where they're like, oh, I think I might have done some damage because of my insecurities. And with the Neptune card, I don't think they ever really saw you fully and clearly. Um, I don't think that they did. I don't think they ever really saw your motives clearly. I don't think that they ever saw the person that you were clearly. I don't think that they saw your heart clearly there was always like a and it was them tainting and I feel like it would have been you to them too maybe you in the past you didn't see them clearly either um now you do um and I think that that moment's going to come for them too where they're going to want to give you an apology um I think you're going to get an apology from this person at one point I don't know how long it's going to take because this person feels like they're in a bit of a transitional phase um to see it, it, I almost feel like they might even be currently looking at you as a little bit toxic and like, oh, I'm going to play the game with this person again. And then it's like, when they see this star energy, it's like, oh, wait, I don't think they were ever actually playing any of these games. And I think I read that all wrong. Oops. There's something like that coming through. Yeah. I think they got you wrong from the beginning. And I think their own shadow allowed that you know that neptune energy and i feel like with you you might have got them wrong from the beginning too you might have not seen games that they were playing and maybe poured into them thinking it was you know gonna a connection was gonna build and then it didn't i think you both weren't seeing each other fully there was something in the way to start in it some of you guys may have a lot of 12th house sinistry um what do we have yeah, we have the sandbar as the final card, which is like a message from them to you, which is discovery of new pathways and opportunities. Um, what's the back of the deck quickly? Mermaid, embrace change, transformation, adaptability. Yeah, you guys have changed. I feel like they're aware that you guys are changing. I feel like right now they may think you're playing in that same cycle. And I think they're thinking of maybe a way to get into that or to play that bat and ball back. I think there's going to come a moment. I don't think it's happened yet where they're going to realize how much you've shifted. And I feel like that may then give them time to kind of like internalize or again, the moment that maybe you come out of that shell or you come through that transformation, they may also have something trigger in their life where they realize that they've messed up. It could be a connection they're in right now ends up stepping away from them um, and then they have to really deal with things. Um, right now, there's no need for them to do that reflection, I'm being told, because they're distracted by something. So it could be work, it could be something, but something's going to happen where there's a tower moment where they're going to um, really see something um about themselves and then they'll be given a kind of ultimate energetically am i going to work on this and move forward or am i going to keep going around in the cycle but i almost feel it's not going to be a choice for them to keep going around in the cycle because no one's playing in that pool anymore 
um, which is going to give them a reason to kind of shift their energy then. Uh, yeah, so pal two, that is what I had for you guys. Bit more in depth than I expected, but that's what came through. I really hope this resonated for you guys. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if it did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you guys are watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey pal three, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at who is your secret admirer. So you guys chose the honey cow site. I'm going to start with tarot and then we're going to move on to your oracle cards. So I'm going to start with the psychedelic Swiss tarot. Um, so shout out to Carissa from nine and three quarters for sending me this deck. I have yet to use it, so I'm excited to use it today. Um, so I'm going to start with this deck just to see... Um, basically the main energy of your person your secret admirer to you so we're just going to be starting off with that and then i'll have some more cards to pull through um so we can really get a full perspective of who this person is so pile number three the honey calcite pile please spirit guides um who is my pile number three secret admirer who is my pile number three's secret admirer can you show me the energy of pile number three's secret admirer. I'm being shown somebody waving and trying to get your attention. So this is somebody you may be aware of, but just haven't really been that interested in. Um, or it could be you just haven't had this person meet your eye yet. There's something about that. Um, we have the world card as their main energy. The back of the deck, we also have the devil. Now, normally when I think of the world card, I think of like, you know, we're in a new level. We've wrapped up things from the past. This is almost given an energy of this is someone, especially with the devil being at the back of the deck. Um, this could be someone from your past, so this could be someone you've already turned down. This could be someone that may be connected to your old energy. I'm not going to lie, it doesn't feel like an ex. It doesn't feel like anyone you would have really given a chance to. Or if you did, you could have dated them a few times and thought this isn't for me. Um, either way, I feel like this person still may feel like there's some sort of chance or still be trying to get your attention. Um, you've either never been on a date with this person or talked to this person or uh you've been on one or two and just wasn't interested um you just didn't feel like there was an alignment uh i think that you're still in this person's brain um you could have even only had like phone calls with this person and just deaded it off from there um or maybe there was like a date that just didn't do very well and you're just like yeah this person isn't for me um but this person's still very drawn to you um you juicy i don't know why i'm hearing that um just the word juicy though, like juicy couture. I don't know if you wear those sort of like tracksuits and things or they've seen like that on social media. Do you wear the juicy perfume? I know they have a couple of perfumes out. Um, could be that. It could be that you're wearing it right now. Um, or it could be like, it makes me think then of Doja Cat's juicy song where she sings, I keep it juicy, juicy. So you guys could be quite voluptuous or you could have like very strong muscles or pecs or you could have, you know, big boobs or something like that. I've got to be careful because... YouTube like to restrict if I say a bad word, but you know, it's 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 given that. It's they're quite drawn to that about you, I feel. Um or you could have like voluptuous features in the face. So you could have like chubby cheeks, you could have um very plump lips, uh something like that coming through. You could have like a chin that kind of like pokes out a little bit. It's just something like that. Um like a fuller feel. So let's pull so let's take a look at your energy towards this person. So the reason I'm doing this, I'm doing you first, is because you know your energy, you know your feelings. So if I describe the way you're feeling towards this person, you'll have more of an instinct. So when I get to their energy towards you, you'll be like, yeah, okay, I get it. Um, pile two's energy towards their secret admirer. Pile two's energy towards their secret admirer. Pile number two's energy towards their secret admirer. We have the King of Rings, Responsibility and Abundance. Um, pile number two's energy towards their secret admirer. We have the Four of Rings, Four of, Pentac Pen Four of Pentacles, um, Conservation, Practicality. 
I think that you're looking at this person in a very practical way and I feel like you're looking at this person in a very business matter of fact black and white way of this is not um because we have the queen of rings which is the queen of pentacles at the back of the deck it's like this isn't where i want to invest my energy this is not where i want to grow something so i feel like this person's maybe given and um shown you something that either you didn't like or you just didn't feel fit it doesn't have to be in a bad way of like you're a re walking red flag it could be it could also be i'm looking for someone in a romantic sense that is emotionally intelligent and you are not that i'm looking for somebody that is very into their work and career and very practical like that you are not so there's a feeling of you looking at it very logically like there's a couple of boxes that you really don't tick if anything you don't really take any of my boxes so i'm just not that interested i don't think there's any bad blood with you to this person um i think it's just a case of i'm just really not interested it could have even been a situation where you were interested maybe this person gave you the ick <laughs> um there's just something about that where you're just not feeling there's something where you're just not intuitively feeling like there's something there energetically there's something that this person maybe did that you're just not feeling um and that's all i'm picking up i don't think there's much more to say about your energy to them which makes me feel like whatever happened if anything happened was short-lived or oh, this person maybe asked for your number and you said no and they've been you know looking at your social media and things since um you're not super you're not looking to invest it's not something you want to invest in um pile number two secret admirer uh, pile number three secret admirer what is my pile number three secret admirer's energy towards my pile number threes what is my pile number threes we have the ten of rings which is the ten of pentacles <laughs> satisfaction and culmination <laughs> i feel like this person feels like you're a 10 out of 10 i feel like this person almost feels like you're looking at them like no you just don't take any boxes i'm sorry and you're, they're looking at you like, God, you've just ticked every box. Like, that's that's how they're viewing you. Um, for some of you guys, this person hasn't even shown up in your energy yet. And you'll they might. And you're just like, nope, not that interested. Thank you. Um, whatever it is, it's not reciprocated on your end. I don't know if you've made it clear yet. Maybe you've told this person we're just friends. And this person may still think you could build something there. Um, cause I'm hearing that song by Anne Marie friends, um, where she sings, I've told you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Um, haven't I made it obvious? Haven't I made it clear? Haven't I made it, made it obvious? F R I E N D S. So it's like, yeah, you're, I think that's your energy to this person. It could be somebody from the past that's still just very drawn to you. Um, we have the four of swords here, solitude and healing. And a second one came out, which is the six of wands, um, advancement and recognition. This person's been trying to get your attention. I feel like this person knows because we have the four of swords, solitude and healing. You and then we have the six of wands, advancement and recognition. You may have said, look, I'm not like interested in a maybe you said to them, I'm not interested in something right now because I'm focused on self. And just left it there and this person's like well it's not a no so well, let me just focus on myself and show them i'm focusing on myself and then something's gonna grow from it because i feel like this just person's quite um a bit infatuated with you they definitely they definitely like fancy you looks wise we have the nine of rings abundance fortitude um at the back of the deck um which is the nine of pentacles so again they're coming in thinking that you'd be able to bring them a lot of gold um you'd be able to um revamp their life they're feeling like you'd be able to enrich their life i feel like maybe talking to you has maybe felt made them feel good so it's almost like they're just kind of waiting in the wings like when you're ready but it's like i'm you're kind of like i'm not interested or do you know what it could be it could be you had something with this person in the past you've worked on yourself because we have the world you've moved on into a new paradigm you've completely shifted your energy and maybe in the past you were super into this person whereas now because your energy shifted you're not so this person's like oh well they were into me before i can make them into me again um they're saying they're not ready right now but they will be um if i'm if it, there's this feeling of like if i made them interested before i will again or if i got them to um like me before or give me a chance before i can get them to give me a chance again um 
but right now I feel like they might not be giving too much attention to you because it's like they're almost mirroring you that's how it's coming through I don't think you're honestly I don't think you're interested in this person and I feel like if you were interested in them in the past, what made you interested was something maybe that you needed to heal. But it's something you've currently healed. So that's why you're not interested. Yeah, let's put some more cards. Um, can you tell me anything else about pile number three's person? The honey calcite pile. This person's very attracted to you physically. I think this person likes the way you speak. Um, I feel like this person sees you quite fiery, quite bold. Um... This is how this person's viewing you now. You don't have to have a lot of fire in your chat. It's just how they're viewing you. Could be that you have a fire rising or something like that. Again, you don't have to. It's just their perception of you. Um, you may have been quite sassy with them. I think that's something that they might like uh, when you've been sassy with them. Um, we have peace. Pal number three, secret admirer, what is their energy towards my pal number threes? Pal number three, secret admirer, what is their energy towards my pal threes? Um, we have ideation. Yeah, this person does think about you a lot and what could be. Um, pal number three, this person likes the way you do things. Yeah, passion. This person likes the way maybe you dress. I think this person likes the way you carry yourself. This person likes the way you speak. Um, you guys almost seem to them sure of yourself, so they like that. We have balance at the back of the deck. Um, this person also feels like they could be like that spare part that you needed. Um, the other half sort of thing. They could feel like you're that for them. Um, this person may be looking at you like that. This person's very infatuated with maybe what you're up to if you have a career or a business or something on the side that you're doing i think that they're interested i think this person also analyzes things that you like like um you know you could like let's say decorating cakes i feel like this person's maybe analyzed that or be like that's cool i think you're very sure of yourself very unique i think that's what this person likes um but right now the only thing is and i think you're aware of this this person's looking at you in an ideal way and not like they're not looking at your darkest fears. They're not looking at your heart. They're not looking at your, what do you want? They're not thinking of you. Like they're thinking of them and how you'd fulfill them, but they're not looking at it like, and I think you're aware of this. That's why you're not interested. They're not thinking of like, how could I enrich this person's life? How could I pour into this person's cup? How could I make them feel good? They're not looking at that. And I think that may be what you're not interested in you can see that maybe they're thinking of themselves um it could be that uh yeah yeah i don't i honestly i from you i don't think you're interested maybe when you met with this person they may may have even done things that they thought you would like but you saw through it like this person okay so for example you could be um into art right and this person's not into art this person likes let's give something dirt biking and then this person's like oh um i went to a museum the other day what if me and you go to a museum but you know that they're only saying it to kind of get at you to kind of get you to like them instead of actually um doing something that maybe both of you would like and then you could kind of get to know each other it's like you can see they're looking for ways to get you interested but they're not actually getting to know you um it's it, it's kind of like that like i'll have people come up to me and and they'll see that i'm connected to spirit and they'll be like let's go look at the stars let's go um let's go and uh go to the beach and and do this and do that and i'm like when i look into them i'm like you don't really do that in your free time though <laughs> do you know what i mean like i don't i think you're just more so trying to impress it, it's kind of it's coming across like that there's something you're seeing through about this person they could talk a lot not back it up um yeah i don't think you're interested i think in, in the past you're looking at it like you're the type of person i would have been interested in the past you're the type of person i would have probably fallen for in the past not anymore not looking for it anymore um which again could be that this is somebody from the past that was like yeah i'd be right for this person and you've changed you're not the same person let's pull some more cards pile number three secret admirer can you tell me anything else about pile number three secret admirer to give them an indication let's pinpoint some things we have truth yeah okay let me just get the other card and i'll uh, continue pile number threes um 
I feel like in the past where maybe you did entertain this person, if you did, um, you wouldn't have looked at it from a grounded perspective of what this person was about, what they wanted, what type of person they were. Whereas now that you've grown, you are. And you're like, no, I don't like it. I don't want it. You don't take a box at all. Um, pile number three. Yeah, I'm hearing best thing I never had Beyonce. So it could have been someone you had a proper crush on back in the day. And you're like like back in the day you really wanted this person like they would have had character traits in the past that you would have looked for you were like yes this is the person that i want and now that they're coming back it's like actually i don't want that it reminds me of like 13 going on 30 and the girl uh jenna rink she when she was 13 she really fancied this boy she had a proper crush on him she wanted him to notice her and he just doesn't and he's like proper cool boy that everyone wants and then as she gets turned into a 30 year old she's obviously seeing everybody that was in school with her for who they are now and she gets into a taxi and she looks up and this guy like is just like, about 40 years old or older and he's just like just really just someone she wouldn't want to be with that's what i'm gonna say just someone she wouldn't want to be with doesn't have any of the traits that she'd want like and she's like why would i have wanted you sort of thing so it's it's kind of that it's like I would have wanted you five years ago, but you're definitely not someone I want now. Could have been someone you knew from school, college, something like that. And maybe you've grown from it. Um, we have ambition. You want better for yourself now, which is why you're not interested in this person. Because we have both of the golden energies. You've seen your own truth and you know your worth now. That it's like you've leveled up and it's like I know I want better and I know who I am now. So this person's looking at you and it's like... They see all of that in you and because they're lacking it in themselves, they're really drawn to it. But like they don't have that within themselves. So it's like, I know I want better for myself now and I'm moving that way. And you are not someone that would better my life at all. And I've got to go with what would enrich my life. And I don't even think you really care about me. I think this is all to do with you. Um, that's what it's kind of given to me. And in the back of the deck, we have water um, here at the back of the deck. Why do we have water at the back of the deck? I feel maybe once upon a time, if this is somebody like that you dated a little bit and nothing ever got off the ground, I think maybe in the past you would have had some emotions there. But again, they were emotions that connected to maybe your wounded inner child, wounded feminine, wounded masculine, and you've alchemized that now. So now where that water was, there is now a drought, it's dried up and that feeling isn't there anymore because you've alchemized it. You've... Uh, you know your your worth now your inner child understands that you've alchemized it so it's like that's not what we want and this person's almost thinking well they're gonna want me and they, they may be using tactics from the past and it's like no i don't and i don't want to play these games and i'm not interested and for those of you it could be someone new it's just somebody that mimics something from the past and you're like i've seen a bunch of you i've seen about 10 of you i know what you're about i'm not interested but they haven't quite got the memo yet but for a lot of you, this is someone you may have had a connection or two with. Because with the water, it's making me feel like maybe you even cried over this person. But it wasn't actual emotional tears. It was a trigger or part of your ego that you hadn't alchemized yet being hurt, feeling unworthy because of this person. Whereas now it's like, why did I feel that way over you? Like, it, it's kind of making me feel that way. Um, it could have been like a first relationship that you had when you were young. Um, and you've really grown and they have not someone you allowed to maybe treat you badly because you didn't know your worth and now it's like well i know my worth i'm not interested but it doesn't feel too big it doesn't feel like it was something that had the biggest impact or if it did it was such a long time ago you've completely moved on because there's such a lack of anything towards this pile number three pile number three secret admirer what is their energy like what can you tell me about their personality their energy how they act um we have Saturn. Um, this person seems a little bit directly connected to karma that you've cleared. Um, connected to an old karmic cycle. Um, it could have been someone that wasn't like someone big in your last karmic cycle like i'm talking about like maybe an old paradigm that you've put to bed this person um wouldn't have been like the main person that you would have been upset over this person may not have been like, the main person you cried over 
um so it's very easy for this person to fall in the background and off your radar because you've completely forgotten but it is someone that um you are aware of and that you know you would have been interested in in the past that you're not now um this person had a direct connection to your past karma that you've cleared pile number um Oh, this person could have acted very this person could have mimicked wounds from your father um yeah this person could have mimicked wounds from your father so if your father was emotionally unavailable this person might have been emotionally unavailable if your father was um would maybe put you down sometimes this person would put you down so your inner child was connected to how this person made you feel um which is why with that water card at the back there was like a connection sort of there like that but i feel like it's it's really put to bed like to the point that you don't even have to think who could this be because i feel like it's put to bed and it's been long gone um it makes me feel like time has passed pile number three um we have two cards that have fallen so i'm going to use them we have venus and we have cancer Okay, I'm going to pop these two here. Um, on the back of the deck, we have Neptune at the back of the deck. Um, you guys may also have to learn hard lessons in love. Um, you guys could have like Neptune in your seventh house. You guys could have Saturn in your seventh house. There's something like that coming through where you've had to have quite a few connections kind of like fall through or trigger you to break that kind of like rose tinted glasses. I feel like it was part of your karma, part of something that you were working through. Maybe it was generational karma. So I feel like there's quite maybe a few people that you've had those same kind of like karmic lessons you've had to learn. Um, the way this person is coming through in regards to their personality this person comes through very hot and heavy very um do you know what's funny when this card came up i was like okay this person's mimicking wounds from your father but then with the cancer energy i don't know why i'm feeling like this person's also mi um mirroring wounds with your own mother so maybe this person could have come through uh very overly nurturing giving you all this love like love bombing sort of thing nurturing you telling you they'd protect you and then maybe not and pulling away um th this person almost almost comes through like i'm the perfect person i'm showing you all of my emotions she has my like it's like i'm 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 uh i'm how do i even explain this it's like let me try and put the spirit guys can you help me speak this into existence and like put this into words because i'm having a hard time putting that into words what i'm getting from them can you put me in their energy so i can just kind of like say it how it is otherwise i'm not going to understand it this person's the type to uh come in and it, it's it's almost like uh i'm I'm trying to relate to you so it's like oh yeah I'm really really uh vulnerable in the heart space I wear my heart on my sleeve I'm someone that like you know if you never feel understood they'll see that and go oh well you know I'm never really understood or um I have all of these wounds I've been cheated on before please don't cheat on me it's coming through like that um and I feel like they love bomb in that way because it's almost like they'll relate to you with wounds I feel like you and this person had similar wounds and I feel like this person knew then because of those wounds how to make you like them by hitting those wounds and nurturing those wounds but then also knew when to keep you around by triggering those wounds. So this person's coming in trying to hit those wounds but you've already worked on them. So it's like you're hitting nothing. I'm completely dead to it because I've alchemized it and I don't even know what you're hitting at this point. Like, And I'm not here to heal you either so there we go. There's something about that. Maybe you tried to heal this person. Maybe you tried to nurture this person and they were able to get you to do that. Whereas now you're like, you can't get me to do that. You can't guilt me to do that. You can't bring me down into that energy. You're not going to get that from me. I'm not interested. And I think that's where this person's then messing up. Because it's like, I'm not, there's nothing here that I can grow with you. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm getting. And I don't think you saw this person clearly 
before whereas with the truth card now you do this is someone you used to have rose tinted glasses on see them in a different light because of maybe a wounded inner child something from childhood but you've worked on it and now you see the truth which is making me feel like you may have neptune in the seventh house neptune in the fifth house saturn in the fifth house saturn in the seventh house something like that Okay, let's pull a final card what is this person's energy um a message to how is this person feeling towards my pal number threes how is pal number three secret admirer feeling towards my pile number threes pal number three secret admirer how are they feeling towards my pal number threes I'm hearing Rapunzel, Rapunzel let down your hair. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing that. We have sunset. The end of a cycle is approaching closure and completion. Back of the deck, we have heat wave. Follow your passion, what ignites your soul. So I feel like this person, um, it's funny because this person does believe when they look at you, like they really like you and you're the person for them. That's one thing I'm going to say. This person's looking at you and going, that's the person I'm going to be with second time lucky or third time lucky or however many times or this is what I want, we're aligned, this is meant to be and it's weird because they're, te and I'm not going to say innocent but it does feel like this is how I feel, I, you know, I, I've tapped into this person before, this person liked me before I feel this type of way and I think they're drawn to you because of maybe a healing essence you have maybe so it's like I'm I want to be with this person this place, person makes me feel good so I'm not saying they're lying about their feelings but it's coming from a wound that they're drawn to you and it, they're not thinking of you they're thinking of how it will fulfill them and with the end of a cycle is approaching closure and completion I almost feel like this person's like let me get in now before it closes because I feel like this person may be witnessing you shifting changing and it's like I need to get in there now. I need to get in there now before they get someone else. So I need to get in there now before that lever is completely closed on that castle. Um, they're almost wanting to bring you back to another paradigm. It's like, no, 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 come back. I need you. Come back. It's kind of like that. Whereas you're somewhere else. So they're trying to get you back and you're like, no, why would I go back there? <laughs> like, there's nothing growing there at all. Why would I do that? I'm not interested. You have nothing to offer me. Goodbye. Um, you've grown up. Moved on not interested not the type of person you want and if this is someone new that's been nagging at you they have the exact same qualities as this person from the past so you're like you're exactly like somebody from my past no like you know what i mean so you really boarded boundaryed up um yeah yeah so part three that is what i have for you um hit the thumbs up and comment down below if this resonated i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you guys are watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey part four welcome to your readings so we are taking a look at who your secret admirer is so you guys chose the green adventurine i'm going to start with this particular deck which is the psychedelic swiss tarot so shout out to cursor from nine and three quarters for sending me this deck um i haven't had a chance to use it yet so i thought i'd use it today um so i'm going to use one card from this deck which is basically going to show me your secret admirer's energy just naturally just how they're coming through and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use another deck to look at your energy towards your secret admirer as well as their energy towards you just so you can get a full rounded view because you're very aware of your own emotions you'll know by how you're feeling towards this person maybe who this is and then we're going to go deeper with some oracle cards as well so let's get in so pile number four please spirit guides pile number four are you guys like taurus libras benusian um you could even just be earthy like capricorn virgo too i don't know why i just feel like tapping into your energy is like running into a meadow and there's like a cow and i'm wearing a flowy dress like i don't know why that's how i feel tapping into your energy you feel like spring to me i don't know let's just just take that compliment if if you, it doesn't make any sense you feel like spring to me you feel very fresh um happy new like i, I don't know i just feel good I feel good. That's what your energy feels like anyway. <laughs> um, so pile number four, the green adventuring pile, please spirit guides. You could be in nature as well when you're listening to this whenever. Or you could be watching this in the spring and you're really feeling the spring feeling. Um, pile number four, please spirit guides. Pile number four. Pile number four, secret admirer. Can you show me their energy? Pile number four's secret admirer. Whoever this is has very strong intuition. 
the minute I tap into your secret admirer, they have like a deep blue or aura, a connection to the Ajna chakra, the third eye. Um, yeah, pal number four, secret admirer. We have the star. Okay. Um, on the back of the deck, we have the magician. Okay. Um, pal number four, secret admirer. Whoever this is, they're very open to romantic relationships i feel like i wouldn't say this person's on the lockout but i would say that they're definitely open this feels like somebody new this feels like somebody fresh i feel like this is somebody that is looking at you maybe as a potential partner they're looking at your energy as you being very fresh very um you you feel like a breath of fresh air so i feel like they're looking at you in a way that you look you, you seem like somebody that's a lot different to who they're usually around um you could bring them a lot of freshness and newness it could be that they may be feeling a little bit stuck in their life um or it could just be that they're used to seeing the same old same old they could even have a job that's quite repetitive so they're almost looking at you as somebody like new and someone that they can align with it could be that you've just recently started a job so you're new at that job and that's something that they're drawn to um or it could be like you've moved to the area someone new and that's it you could be starting a course or something like that or starting a new class somewhere um or switching you know schools or colleges or something and they're like oh okay this person i'm really drawn to this person there's just something about that coming through um with how they're looking at you so let's pull your energy towards this person um i wouldn't say this person's just recently got out of a relationship um but it could be that they've had someone that they um had been going around in circles with and it was like this isn't gonna progress this has just been going around in circles um but i haven't really met anyone that i feel like could embark on a new journey with so i'm just gonna keep going around in this circle that's only for some of you that this person's been doing that with but it's not someone that they're really emotionally attached to it's just like um well and you can't afford a dominoes yet or dominoes is closed for the day so you just have to find somewhere else to get pizza you know what i mean um yeah yeah that's that's it so what is my pile number four's energy towards their secret admirer i'm hearing you none the wiser um are you aware of them you may think that they're nice but you're not looking at them in that sort of way yet Pile number four's energy towards their secret admirer. We have the King of Rings, responsibility and abundance that just flipped over. Um, pile number four's energy and feelings towards Jesus. Hang on. There's just so many cards that have just fallen on the floor. I've been losing all my crystals and I'm just locked underneath my table. Obviously, Luna's the one playing with them. And there's about four of them under my table um pal number four's energy towards their secret admirer what is pal number four's energy i think you, you know who this person is you find them attractive you know who this person is you find them attractive you could already be texting them i'm being told ten of rings which is the ten of pentacles culmination and satisfaction this could be someone you're already talking to this could be somebody that's already in your life like that romantically or you just find them attractive and they've been flirting with you. Yeah. King of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. This is someone I feel like you're already looking at as maybe... Okay, you're either none the wiser in the sense of you really like this person, you're attracted to them, but you're not sure if they like you back. If someone's been flirting with you and you're like, I don't know if they like me back, they do. If this is aligning with that person, they do. Second of all, to the people that have already got a connection with this person like for those of you that are texting this person whatever this person like really is like on your case admiring you right now interested in you it almost feels like tunnel vision to you um something like that i feel like you could see potential in this person or you're going to see potential in this person so you could be none the wiser now but you're going to or you could be like none the wiser right now like i'm dating but i don't know what's going to come of it and it could grow into something because this person's wanting to pour into you. Let's take a look at your person's energy. You know who this person is. Some of you started a new... There's something new you've started. It could be that you've just done a lot of healing. You're in a new phase. And now the veil's lifted and now you're both noticing each other. But for a lot of you guys, it's like physically... I just feel this energy of like... Um, 
you've moved somewhere and met them. You're, you've been introduced to a new friend group and met them. You've gone on a retreat and met them. Like there's something about you being fresh and new to a situation. Um, power number four's person's energy and feelings towards... Um, oh no, pile number four, secret admirer's energy. Some of you guys may already be in a relationship watching this and the secret admirer is your partner. For some of you. Or I'm just picking up on future timelines and this could transpire into a relationship. Um, pile number four, bit of a mixed bag to be honest. Pile number four, pile number four, secret admirer. Or some of you guys could be watching this and this person's just like admiring you right now and then you come back to this reading like eight months later and you're in a relationship with this person and then you're like oh my god Lexi I remember when you were telling me this person was my admirer and now they're my boyfriend girlfriend that's happened before it could be happening here um pile number four because there's almost like a contradiction but it aligns I don't know pile number four or I could be literally narrating the story of how you got with the person you're with, that you were none the wiser, and then something grew. I don't know. That's what I'm. That's what I'm picking up. Could be narrating something that's already come to pass. Pile number four. How does pile number four secret admirer feel towards pile four? What is their energy and feelings? <laughs> yeah, we have the ten of cups. Okay. Pile number four secret admirer. We have the Three of Swords, and then what's this card that flipped over? We have the Moon. Okay. And the back of the deck, we have Abundance and Fortitude, Nine of Rings, which is the Nine of Pentacles. Why do we have the Three of Swords with the Moon and then the Nine of Nine of Pentacles at the back if we've got the Ten of Cups towards them? Three of Swords and then the Moon maybe this person was around for some time but being with each other wasn't an option because we have the moon here something hidden being around being in a relationship wasn't an option because one of you was getting out of a relationship remember i said that this person may have had someone that they were dealing with but they weren't fully in a relationship with maybe you were in a connection with somebody else and this person was just dealing with something else and then you got together then there's this feeling of maybe you being around each other maybe that's the fresh energy you keep become single maybe you had some time to be on your own disappeared for a bit and came back and then this person tapped in because there's this person either this person was going through a breakup the same time as you or this person was releasing the same time as you and there was like an illusion like something hid down like you couldn't be together yet but you knew of each other um or there was an energy of both of you having to release certain karmic wounds before you actually ended up with each other um that's what i'm getting because they're looking at you as a ten of cups like answer to answer to the prayers they're looking at you as like emotional fulfillment um and the ten of cups is like the highest in regards to that so there's like a strong emotional fulfillment when we think of the ten of cups card there's like children there's a couple they're outside of a house it's like i want to build with you that's coming through but then with the three of swords and the moon it's almost like i couldn't be with you when i wanted to be with you or i had to wait or i it took me a long time to get you because i had to release something so they're almost honoring like this is why it took a while um and it could be right now for you, those of you that are looking at and none the wiser, this person could be releasing something from their energy right now. Um, and maybe that's where they haven't made a move, but they're looking at you as this fresh energy, like I would like to step towards you. Um, that's coming through because there's this feeling of those of you that are in the now with this energy, it's like I'm untangling myself from something or I'm releasing from something or I'm letting go of something that could hinder because I would like this nine of pentacles with you. That's how it's coming through um i want to get deeper i need to get deeper we have the magician at the back of the deck as their energy too so when we think of the star you know new vitality um you know that rebirth energy and then we have the magician which is like the alchemist it's like i'm shifting and changing um i'm evolving and you are where i'm evolving to and that's their energy to you so there's definitely that i feel like as again with the intuition i feel like this person's quite deeply intuitive very drawn to you in that way um very very drawn to yeah i feel like they intuitively feel like this is where i need to go this is where i'll feel fulfilled this is the person that i'm drawn to they're drawn to you emotionally which makes me feel like you might establish a friendship 
first um, for this emotional energy to come quite strong. So it could be that your friends, while this person is letting go of something, releasing something. Um, just take what resonates. Pile number four. Pile number four. It almost feels like a relationship that's going to bloom that's going to take a minute. Slow and steady. Pile number four, secret admirer. Tell me, show me pile number four, secret admirer's energy towards pile four. Yeah, we have death. This person's going through a bit of a transformation. This person could be going through a spiritual awakening. I don't want to bring this person in until I've found my feet again because it's not fair on them. So they're looking at you with a lot of respect. It's like I'm not, I'm open to like freshness. I know that newness is coming in. However, I'm not bringing this person in until I know my feet are on the ground because I don't want to mess with them or mess this situation up. I'm coming to them when I'm ready, which is why you're looking at them with a level of respect with this 10 of rings and king of rings because it's like, that person's doing everything by the book and I respect that. Um, like there's nothing shady going on, whereas they could easily be shady and they're not. Uh, that's the case. Or it could be like this person's just being really friendly to me and this person's keeping you on a friendship level and not pushing their luck with you right now while they work through something or they're going through something. Um, so it's like you could be super drawn to this person, but nothing's happening. This person's just treating you as a friend right now but it's like you have respect for them because they're treating you as a friend because right now they know they can't bring anyone in or something's going on because with the three of swords and the moon it doesn't have to be another connection this could be that they're going through something right now they're healing from something right now this could be that they're dealing with the passing of somebody right now i don't know why i feel like they're dealing with a death or someone that's literally passing we literally have the death card there's a shift where they're mourning something and that's why they're not bringing something in right now but you're both around each other um pile number uh four Show me this person's energy towards my path fours. We have comfort. I'm hearing that com uh, Christmas song, Comfort and Joy. Could be that you met this person around Christmas time, December time. If I'm picking up in regards to something from the future, it could be that you really align with each other around Christmas time next year, you know. Um, and we have magic. Um, the back of the deck we have intuition like I said this person's got a deep intuition I feel like they know you're their next stop like they know that they're moving towards you they know that they're emotionally connected to you they know that there's feelings that could grow there so it's like before I plant this seed let me just keep them as friends or let things grow first and it could also be that they're wanting to take things slow because with the three of swords and the moon it could be that maybe they've just come out of a big transformation and they want to make sure they're moving properly this could be their first relationship since they've maybe done some healing could be the same for you as well or it could also be that they don't want to mess up like in the past so they're making sure that they're doing everything by the book and in a respectful way um that's another thing that i'm being shown i feel like this person's going to be a bit of a slow mover and picking up a lot of Taurus energy planting the seed water in it nurturing it with this comfort energy I feel like you guys um speak each other's language emotionally um I think you're aware of this I think you both feel at ease you know when they say when you meet someone and like if they give you butterflies and they give you that bit of anxiety they're not the one but the person you're meant to be with is the one that makes you feel calm and comfortable in their energy um that's what you both maybe make each other feel like comforted um held um nurtured at peace safe um and i think that's why maybe they're recognizing you as that and i feel like you may feel that way with them i almost feel like for some of you guys you're at that point where things are on a get to know basis so they could just be asking about you um asking what you're up to um having a little bit of flirt if you do work with each other because there's something about work you know you could be having a bit of a flirt there but keeping it professional something like that um it could be at that stage right now um but with the magic i feel like there is some sort of intensity drawing you in because i do feel like there's some sort of connection here which is really beautiful um let's pull some more cards get some more so pile number pile number four's um secret admirer's energy towards pile four where did you go why did that card go Oh my god, that just disappeared into thin air. Did I even drop one? Have I dropped a card? 
guys i swear a card literally just like dropped on the floor and it's nowhere to be seen so maybe i didn't but i guys honestly that just vanished into thin air that went to another realm i don't know i don't know where that card went um pile number maybe you weren't meant to see that card yet maybe that's it pile number four pile number four what is pile number four's secret admirer's feelings towards my pile fours what is pile number four's secret admirer's feelings energies thoughts we have <laughs> i was saying i felt spring and then we literally have easter new beginnings i mean yeah that's how this person's looking at you it's like a chance for something to grow this is going to bring a lot of newness to my life that's how they're looking at you like a, fr a breath of fresh air um maybe they've been around the same people constantly and it's like no, this is a person that's just like a breath of fresh air i do feel some of you guys are new to a situation or a town or a country or something like that but if it isn't that it's just that this person feels like they were starting a new beginning and you're part of that new beginning this is new for me or maybe they've only ever been in one relationship so they've all only ever had to focus on one other person you're that new person where it's like this is new yeah i feel like they might have been dealing with the same old for some time or maybe they've been doing a lot of healing so they've been focused on the same old wounds whereas it's like now i'm feeling new things new things are gonna grow that's how they're looking at you this is someone some of you guys are already speaking to because i'm being shown texts um pile number four pile number four secret admirer am i using these yeah so you want lilith independence i feel like this person as well may have in the past had connections or people around them that were quite codependent so people that were a little bit clingy people that were wanting to know their passwords what they were up to one this person might not have even given them an indication that they were untrustworthy um i feel like they may have been around people that had like certain wounds that um were like kind of codependent or looking like almost using this person to fill up their own cup or using this person to um make their inner child feel safe or comforted um without realizing it like there was some karmic essences there where i feel like you're you don't feel like that to them i feel like you're, you're a bit of a breath of fresh air like you don't do things or they're used to connections being codependent and you're not like that you've got your own thing going on you don't want you don't care to be blowing up someone's phone for like no reason unless someone's giving you a reason to like check up on them and you're the type of person i feel to be like whether you've always been like this or you've healed to be like this you're the type of person where it's like if you mess up i'm gone i don't need to stress i don't need to come into my you know masculine energy and chasing you down i don't need to be calling and blowing up your phone if you're gonna act disrespectful i will go and that's something where it's like fresh because it's like oh this this person's different i'm here and hit different by scissor um it's like a, you know it's a fresh energy um uh, we have compassion as well i feel like this person feels like you get them emotionally again with a ton of cups it's like there's time being spent where you both get each other emotionally like this person gets my brain this person understands what i've been through this person acknowledges all sides of me this person doesn't make excuses for my bad and this person doesn't put down my good like this person sees all of it i'm hearing that john legend song all of me loves all of you i'm hearing that song it's given that a bit like i feel like there's an emotional feeling here which is what's drawing you both in um which is probably why they wanted to do things by the books it's like i don't want this three of swords moon energy anymore i don't want to be bringing in karmic things they might have made a conscious decision i want something new and you're the new um yeah let's pull some more cards so panel before this this person for panel before can you show me that um can you show me their traits the personality traits how they act what they're like um we have venus this person's quite romantic at heart um i think this person um is quite either a relationship person or this person's just like 
um they like to be around other people they like to grow like they learn and grow from other people uh they like to have a partner there's someone maybe that's always had a partner or they've always had that one partner they think of other people um when they make decisions they think of the other person um they're quite caring like that um yeah that that's definitely something coming through but i do feel like their heart space is very open um they're definitely tapped into that like romantic side of themselves pile number four pile number four secret admirer we also have um uranus here as well um why do we have that card i feel like this person feels like you get parts of them that other people haven't got i feel like this person feels like things aren't just like superficial with you i feel like this person likes the way that your brain is i feel like you help this person look at things from a higher perspective and again with that fresh energy it's like i can't they're almost looking at you like i usually can predict what partners that i have want what they want out of the connection what they want to do i can't predict you you are another you're like a martian like you're like someone else you're like a different kettle of fish i remember someone said to me before you are like a, you're you're a different type of gravy and i was like what does that mean and they were like you're just a different like you can like you have the same gravy but when you go over to someone's house they have a different gravy and you're that different type of gravy and i was like that is the weirdest thing i've heard in my life but i will take it and i feel like i want to say that to you so shout out to the guy that said that to me but i feel like you're like that it's different it's unique it's bringing much needed shifts and changes to my life and i needed it you're making me look at things from a different perspective i like this like that's how it's coming through yeah on the back of the deck we have virgo at the back of the deck um i feel like this person is very earthy practical they're the type in like a relationship to do little things for you so how you'll know that this person likes you if you're just texting them or you have just shared of them they're going to do little things so they're not the type to like say all of these things and not deliver they're the type of person to like really listen to what you like and then bring that to you like and it could be just something so small that you're like you wouldn't think but they really thought it out like you could say that like you've been really craving spice and then this person kind of is like oh let's go to um this restaurant where they have a lot of spicy food or they could be like i'm craving spicy food i'm craving spicy food should we go get spicy food or it, it's that sort of thing they go going to listen to you and then deliver in little ways like that i feel like maybe one of their main love languages is like acts of service because i see them doing that um and it's like no biggie they'll just do it you don't have to ask them to do it it's like well i'm gonna do it um yeah that's something that i feel this person's going to do um this person feels like they're someone that does things by the book as well uh especially that's why they're like i need to work through this i don't want this to happen again i want this ten of cups so let me do it by the book so the way they're gonna move towards you is by the book i don't feel like this person's the type to love bomb um I don't think this if this person's in your life i don't think they have been love bombing you i think they're pacing themselves um they may even hold back sometimes in the sense of let me just mirror um and move accordingly i don't want to rush ahead because i don't want it to mimic the past this person's very careful of not having something like the past happen um so they're moving slow uh and i feel like you are as well so let's take a look at that final card towards you pile number four secret admirer what is the message and energy that they have for my pile number fours there's something about music coming through i don't know if you've like connected with them through music or they may like send you songs or you could be like listening to a lot of like songs right now and i, I don't know it's almost like I feel like they'll connect to you with songs or you may have the same song taste or you may sing together or like be in the car have the same music like i don't know there's just something about that i'm hearing an eminem song i don't listen to eminem much anymore but i remember this song from when i was younger because i used to listen to him a lot when i was young what's the song almost famous that's the song 
um i just shared the beat of that stat and so some of you guys may love eminem if you don't it doesn't matter whenever i say like a song genre people are like i don't like that music it's like it's okay i was just hearing one thing like there's a lot of you watching different genres it's fine um but that came up so i have to reference it uh for whoever that was for because it could be a message of who this person is did another card fall yeah hang on a minute guys a couple of cards well two cards fell i'm absolutely flabbergasted as to where that other card went um okay so the two cards that fell even though i only wanted one but i'm going to use them both is when the seas are rough search for the light and i have the storm and miss the chaos find your center this per i feel like this person's going through something or healing through something or you're gonna meet each other um or you would have met each other when things didn't feel like your feet were on the ground and that's why it was like not yet not yet not yet and then when your feet caught on the ground it was like let's just slowly move in a way that we can and let things blossom um because for those both you know that song from Pitch Perfect, When Tomorrow Comes, I've Got All I Need When I've Got You and I, uh, um, Stuck in the Dark Without a Flashlight, You're Getting Me Through the Night. I don't know, there's something about that, so I feel like maybe when you, okay, if this is someone you haven't met, or it could be like you're in a relationship right now, I'm watching and I'm basically narrating how you guys would have got together, it could be something like you start speaking and then something happens in this person's life where this person can only be a friend and you and this person are just friends but you're around when they're going through something heavy um because they're looking at you as a like the, the ariana song safety net like they're looking at you like uh it's 333 three on the clock by the way they're looking at you as someone that like is very nurturing and comforts them and um like the, the, there's something that they're just seeing in you in that in that moment like they feel safe with you or it could be the other way around you could be going through something and then it's like a light a light the other way around there's something about that coming through um yeah or it could be that you're both each other's light at the end of the tunnel that's another thing um that's coming through and the back of the deck we have follow your passion what ignites your soul so i feel like you both are going to be drawn to each other on a soul level and i feel like this person whether it's right now um which i do feel is right now but if this is something in the future cool it could be that you're in a relationship with this person right now whatever the case you both are drawn to each other on a soul level and if you're feeling it they're feeling it and vice versa um this person has a lot of respect for you as a friend first and foremost and i think the best connections come from that so yeah so powerful that is what i have for you guys i really hope that this resonated hit the thumbs up and comment down below if it did i'm sending you guys all my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you guys are watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching